Visiting with Hewell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation. Well, hello everybody, I'm Hewell Hauser. Put in your earplugs and get ready for an adventure. Now here's the setup. Right now we're in Van Nuys at the very busy Van Nuys Airport. And my new friend J.T. Alpa from Helenet is going to be our tour guide today. And J.T., we are not standing in front of these helicopters by accident. Helenet is a helicopter company. Yes, we are, Hewell. We are a multi-purpose helicopter company. And what you're seeing back here are some of our news helicopters. And we do a lot of different things with helicopters all over the country. But yeah, this is, this is our home base. And here in Los Angeles, people who watch local television would know which stations do you have contracts with for their news coverage from the air in helicopters. Absolutely. We have four of the Los Angeles contracts that uh, we, we provide services for those stations and provide their helicopter services. And we outfit these helicopters with all sorts of new technologies and cameras and go get the news for them. That's Channel 34, Fox 11. Uh -huh. We got uh, here, right over here, the Channel 7. Channel 7, ABC, Helicopter Air, right here. Air and then HD. here is Channel 5. This is the helicopter that we're going to be going up in today. Your company also, in, in addition to the news copters, provides services, and this is very interesting for other organizations as well. Absolutely. We do, uh, we do charter, we do medical, we have the Children's Hospital medical helicopter contract. You can see it's getting very loud here. <laughs> and we, do, uh, we transport VIPs, ex-presidents, lots of very important people. Uh, we do a lot of different activities here. You also make television shows and yep. movies. We do movie work. Uh, Alan Perwin, who's the owner of the company, is uh, one of the biggest Hollywood uh, aerial coordinators and stunt pilots uh, there is. Very Hollywood out here. And here's what we're... This is what captivated me. I read an article in the Los Angeles Times about... Come on over here, JT. This thing right here. Tell us what this is. This is absolutely amazing. Watch this come up here, Cameron. Well, if you're if you're used to watching television news or anything from the air and you're wondering how they get those really close-up shots that uh -huh. are really stable, well, this is how they do it. This is the newest technology uh, called a Cineflex high-definition camera system. And it basically rotates 360 degrees. And if you look in here, you'll see the lens. That lens right now is kind of moving around. It's bobbling around. It's bobbling, but when it's all spun up, there's gyros in here that keep that very still. So everything else in the helicopter is moving around, and that lens is rock steady. That's a rock steady cam. Something. Absolutely. This is state of the art, so we're going to go up in this helicopter and see all the tricks you can do with this camera. And come over here, this is what's interesting. I didn't realize till we got here today, because I've never been up in one of these news copters. I'm going to be sitting here in the front with the pilot. pilot so we'll be in the front. You're in the back. I'm in the back, and I'll be using this console here. Look at this. It's like a big video game, Huel. We sit there, and this is how we run the camera system. And I look at my monitor here, and I can sit in the comfort of an air-conditioned aircraft and, and run the camera system, which we didn't used to do many years ago. Yeah, you used to shoot. And I still think a lot of people think that when they see these shots that there's a camera person in the helicopter with a camera on their shoulder. That's what we used to do. We used to hang out with a camera, just sit on the skids just like this. Hang on out. the outside. Well, we'd kind of sit kind of half in, half out and uh, shoot handheld. In fact, I shot the OJ Pursuit, the two-hour marathon pursuit hanging out of a helicopter. <laughs> Every time I see video of that pursuit, my shoulder starts to hurt. Here. All right, those were the old days. The old now days. it's all done by this new thing right down here and with you sitting in the back seat doing it all by remote control. Absolutely, and today you're going to be our reporter. Wow, this is very <laughs> exciting. We're getting ready to take off, head up, and we're just going to spend the next 30 minutes flying around Los Angeles exploring this wonderful new technology that makes the eye in the sky such an interesting concept now because this is definitely cutting edge isn't it? Oh it's absolutely cutting edge with everybody starting to go high definition and the, the, uh, the stability and the safety these systems offer and what we can do in these helicopters now it's absolutely amazing we're gonna have a lot of fun. All right enough of this talk it's time to take off. Here we go lift off we're heading well I don't know where we're heading 
Well, we're heading south. We're taking off out of Van Nuys here, and we're flying south down. This is a big corporate airport, isn't it? It's a very big, very busy, very big corporate airport. This is where all the rich people uh, fly their private uh, I'm corporate zoom, jets. I'm going to zoom in on one of those jets right now. I wonder where he's going. See, now there you go. You didn't wait 30 seconds to start playing with your toy there, <laughs> JT, because it, that's what this camera can do. You zoomed in using your little uh, board back there in the back seat. Uh, and sorry. look how smooth. There's not a jiggle. There's not a movement at all. You zoomed right into it. Now can you go? OK, there we go. Now you're getting a wide view, and again, look how smooth everything is. Boy, this isn't the way it was in the old days, was it? No, sir. This is uh, this is definitely. I'll zoom in on one of our counterparts here in the Skyfox helicopter. Wow! Look at that. That's one of our uh, other helicopters. Now we're going down the freeway. Can you get us right on the? Let's get a car chase going here, JT. <laughs> Colin, can we uh, can we just follow the freeway for a minute? Is that okay? Follow the freeway. Colin, we do have someone flying this helicopter. Colin is at the controls, and boy, this just shows how the news stations get those. Hey, Colin, I'm going to track this guy right here. There's OJ. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the white Bronco, but close. So you can get an idea. Right now, we're about five uh, five hundred feet off the ground, almost uh, eight hundred feet off the ground in there, and you can almost see. I could even get in and uh, you can almost read the license plate there. That's how far. So you, we can we can zoom in really far, and I'm going to pull back Why? out just to give an idea how far we are. Now stay on that truck for just a minute. How fast? Can you tell how fast that truck is moving? Because well, it looks like it's really moving, but it's probably not, is it? No. Well, we can kind of track him, and as long as we maintain the same pace as he he is, we're going. What are we doing? About 70 knots right now. So he's probably doing about 65, 70 miles an hour. He's in the fast lane, he's passing, but he's going with the flow of traffic, so he's not doing too bad. Because when you're up here like this and you're looking down at something that tight, it's, you kind of, you know, for someone new at this like me, you do kind of lose perspective, don't you? Absolutely. It's, a, it's a definitely a different perspective and a different look at things. And it takes a little while for flying around. We'll actually tilt up here and show you this full bit of pass. It's one of those hazy days in oh, Los Angeles. Oh, look, there's the Sepulveda Pass. Now, are we going to turn? Yep, we're going we're gonna to fly over the Santa Monica Mountains that you see in the foreground here. Now, this is the, over here to our left, which freeway is this? That's is the this 101. Off the, I'll frame that up for you. That's Boy, the 101 do, freeway. Now, can you go all the way around and show what's behind Oh, absolutely. Us? Look at this. Tilt in, I can go 360, and what I'll have Colin do right now, I'll give you a little example well, wait here. a minute, what is this thing hanging down under the... That's our skids, that's the actual aircraft. And this, we'll show no, but you I mean this thing in the middle here. Oh, well, that's, that's a microwave pod. That's how we do live shots. That little antenna that you see right here, that stays steered at, our, at the mountaintops where the receive sites are at, and that's how we send our video signal, our microwave signal, to back to the stations to do live shots. So that's the antenna pod that keeps us live on the air. So that's, that's the magical tool that... Uh, we can do live television from the helicopter. See, all of this, I'm sure this has been around a while, but it's still all relatively new, isn't it? Uh, well, yeah, the, the technology has been around for about 15, 20 years, but it is definitely advanced. Like I said right now, we're doing all this in high definition. We're shooting high-def cameras, and we're using high-def microwave and doing live high-def helicopters. And Helenet was the first company actually uh, to, to design and transmit a, a high-def news helicopter. There's a swimming pool down there. Can There's you go swimming down pool. <laughs> We're in Los Angeles. There's swimming pools everywhere. Go but, in yeah, on absolutely. a swimming pool, because I've been wanting to ask you this question. <laughs> well, let <laughs> me see. We'll find one here. How tight can you go in on a swimming pool when people are laying out there by their pool? Let's just reservoir. say they're doing a little clothing optional swimming. Well. <laughs> I can tell you that you can see what we can see here with the camera in the swimming pool. Now, I know you can't say that you ever see anything because well, no, we, we probably actually, against Helenet <laughs> official policy. What I we do is that. we're so busy going from news story to news story that we, uh, we're usually in a rush everywhere we go. Uh -huh. So there's not usually the opportunity. Well, let's say, let's just go into one of those pools again. Okay. Just to, just to say you did have the opportunity. Of course, I know you don't. <laughs> But let's just see how tightly you can actually get in. See, you can, oh boy. 
Oh my gosh. Oh boy. <laughs> now, the other thing is, people who are out in their jacuzzi like that and they see a helicopter flying this far, you can move on, Colin. You don't have to stay over that pool any longer. <laughs> we, we, we take extra steps, Fuel, to, to maintain the privacy of, uh, of the citizens. I uh, understand, <laughs> but I think, oh, look at this big mansion down here. Oh, there's what plenty is this? Of well, I, gonna, I know you don't want to go in real tight on somebody's. We'll fly over an area here called Franklin Canyon Estates, which uh, which. Can we are, look at some of these houses? Yeah, you'll right over this little hill here, you'll see a little canyon. And in this, uh, these are the most expensive homes in Los Angeles. And uh, several movie stars live down in this canyon, and we're not going to mention who, but no, this is... No, no, no. We don't want to give away <laughs> anybody's privacy, but the point is... Wait till you see the sizes of these homes. I was going to make the point, though, that we're so high up that people down on the ground, they see a helicopter flying over, and let's... Boy, look at that big house over there. Can you go in on that one over there on the left? Yeah, well, we slow just down just a little bit here. The, this one, this big one right here beneath us. How about this one right here? Oh, my gosh. Look at the size. See, you see houses here that no one else sees. Look at this one right in front of us. Yeah, these are pretty. Uh, these are pretty Look well sheltered from houses. anybody seeing them. These, sometimes seeing Los Angeles from the air, especially in these canyons. But these are the, some homes that no one, no one will ever see because this is all a private gated community. So you can get an idea how huge these homes are. What are the rules of privacy if one of these tabloid shows wanted to, or say the National Enquirer wanted to rent a helicopter and fly over and shoot somebody, uh, you know, photograph somebody out by the pool or whatever, are there rules well, about that? How, well, what? no, there, there actually aren't, and there are some companies out there that do fly some of those tabloid photographers around when they're, you know, celebrity weddings or something like that. We, we don't usually do that, but but there are some out there, but no, there's not really. I mean, airspace. There's no protection. No, that, you know, uh, it's uh, the FAA has mandated that uh, the airspace is airspace, unless the uh, unless the FAA puts up some kind of a restriction over the airspace, we pretty much uh, can fly where we need to fly. This is not a great air quality day. This is not an air quality control board day, is it? Very, very hazy out right now. And in fact, this morning it was so foggy out that uh, a lot of our ships couldn't fly because there was too many low clouds, but it's starting to burn off. But even on days like this, when it burns off, we still have a little, little bit of this haze Can going on. Can you go in tighter on some of these homes? Because look at sure. this one right over here to your right, uh, right beneath us. On There's the hill here? Huge, yeah, that one right, right here. Look at that. That one actually has a helipad on it. Wow. But uh, no one's, we've never seen a helicopter land on it. That's one of the unique homes that has a helipad. Wow, you can really see how people are spending their money in L.A. these <laughs> days, don't you? We're right over my apartment building, the El Royale on Rossmore. There it is. What a nice view. There's our roof garden up there on the top. Boy, you can see everything going on up on the roof, too, can't you? Oh, sure. Wow. If there was a news story there, we'd be seeing it. Wow. If somebody was sunbathing out there, you'd see them too. Oh, we'd move on. We wouldn't stay on. <laughs> now you know every, you know all the, you know the city. You know these addresses. You know these streets. You know where you are, kind of at all times from the air, don't you? There's the Wilshire Country Club over here. You just went to a nice wide shot. There it yep. is, right there. Wilshire Country Club, and yeah, it's uh, we fly so much through the city, and we navigate through it, covering a bunch of different news stories, not only in this city, but all throughout the uh, all throughout the uh, city and county, and uh, so you get a good sense of where you're at and how to navigate quickly. Wow, you probably know your way around better from the air than you do from the streets. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. The good thing about being in the air is we don't have to, uh, we don't have to go to, uh, you know, take freeways, we go direct. There's no, uh, there's no traffic jam up here, yeah. although there is when a news story is a big news story, and that's where the pilot comes in. He's got to keep his mind on the job and, and pay attention to what else is going on up in the air. Absolutely. It's Colin's job to keep us safe and, uh, you know, we have a good relationship with all the other pilots that fly around the city and all the other stations. And uh, we get, uh, everybody communicates real well and from the ground it may look like everybody's really close, but they're, in fact they're, they're separated by quite a distance. And the advantage is some of these cameras that you see, 
uh, the long the long lens camera that we have on board here uh, affords us the ability to stay high and stay wide away from these stories and get lots of separation from the other helicopters while maintaining the distance between public safety helicopters, police helicopters, uh, fire helicopters, and still be able to cover the story on the ground. There's beautiful downtown Los Angeles coming up in the smog in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, you know, that's part of life in Southern California. Now, there's a... I've been up on the top of that building. That's the tallest building west of the Mississippi, and they've got a helicopter pad up there, too, JT. Absolutely. It's an emergency-only emergency, uh, emergency only pad, but, yeah, it, uh, it's... You don't see a lot of corporate helicopters landing there, but if there's an emergency in that building, that's, uh, that's what that helipad's used for. Now, what are the restrictions on flying around downtown Los Angeles? What, uh, who knows we're up here? What, what's to, well, uh, especially with the security situation, well, right, like it is? Right now, we're in what's called uncontrolled airspace. Just south of us here is the LAX airspace, but uh, we are in uncontrolled airspace, and uh, we, uh, you know, we, we're allowed to be here, um, and th so there's no one really controlling us right now. Who knows we're here? Uh, no one actually needs to know we're here. We're, we have our uh, we have what's called a transponder on board that squawks specific code, but that's only used when we're flying in airspace. When we're in uncontrolled airspace like we are right now, there is uh, there's no need. But later on tonight at about seven o'clock tonight, I'm going to pan over to the left here. There's a uh, going to be a Dodger game. Oh yeah! Oh so, look, let's go over to Dodger Stadium. So one hour before the Dodger game starts, so until, the four level to work over Dodger until one hour four. after the Dodger game ends, there is what's called a temporary flight restriction that's put up around the stadium, which means no one can fly within three miles of the stadium. Wow. See, this is the way I want to go to the Dodger games. This is it. And I uh, want Colin to just drive me right over here and set me down in the parking lot, and I'll just walk right in. Look at this. Boy really gives you and I keep thinking we're going out of range but we're never out of range with this camera because all you do is just swivel it around that's it you're, can you're you right. swivel it around and let's take a look at downtown even though we're hit oh absolutely away from downtown see you can you can see anything with this yep there's city hall I can zoom all the way into city hall wow. right into the top and we'll do a little demonstration for you here, which is kind of a neat little demonstration to show you what the camera can do. We're going to do what's called a little bit of rock and roll here. So I'm just going to hold the controls here, and I'm going to ask Colin to just do a little left and right roll, and you watch how it'll hold the horizon. I'm going to let go. You see how the helicopter moves, but the camera system isn't moving at all. So it's almost as if the camera system is just floating independently. We can even go a little bit more drastic there. You can really see as we rock and roll uh, around. Uh, the picture's steady, but I'm not. I'm getting a little air sick <laughs> okay, here. Hold sorry. on, Colin. <laughs> well, we'll stop Quit then. playing around with us like that. <laughs> Come around left, Colin. <laughs> so there's a nice shot wow, of... Wow, uh, that is beautiful. Too bad we don't have a perfectly clear day, but boy, this really, this really tells the story here. What is this up here on top, this green area over here? Well, this is a little park. I've never seen uh, baseball this. center. Again, some of the things you can see from a helicopter that you never knew. Is that part of... What is that? This is, uh, this is Elysian Park. Uh, in fact, I'll, wow. right next to it here, as we zoom in past here, this is the LA Police Academy. Oh, yeah. Right down there. That's uh, where I went to the police academy when I was uh, going through my training. I go over there for lunch a lot. Oh, they've got a great diner in there. And here's the park. Out here. All Just Griffith right Park? Out. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. That, no, this no, is not the Elysian, Elysian Park. Park. That's right, Elysian Park. Echo Park, Elysian Park. Oh, can we go over uh, Echo Park sure. and see the, uh, the fountain? See the fountain. I can see the fountain. I'll zoom in from here for you. Boy, this is really something. I, you know, I've always wanted to travel California in one of these because you really do see things way off the beaten path, way off the sides of the highways that that really aren't even accessible by roads. It is. It, it's a way to see Los Angeles in, in, a, in a brand new light. I mean, you, there's such a different perspective up here, and it really gives you the appreciation of how many beautiful things and, and how much culture. And you, you get a different look up here, and you get you get to see everything. Everybody uh, everybody looks the same from a helicopter, and, and it's just a, it really is a great way to see Los Angeles. But in a funny kind of way, you're removed 
can we go into the Angelus Temple there with the oh, uh, sure. with the dome? Right over here to our right. Yeah, right there. Right, oh, right. this one here. Yeah. There it is. That's the world famous yeah, Angelus there. Temple yeah, right there by the lake. I, I was just gonna say though, you're in a funny kind of way though, you are removed from the energy of the city. You're you're kind of up and over it. Aren't you? I mean, yeah. You know, it, it it's funny because it, when you're covering news stories from up here, you're kind of removed from the news story. But uh, we used we used a we used a camera this camera system just like this, and we flew a helicopter uh, myself and Alan Perwin into uh, Katrina, uh, the disaster after Katrina. We flew in about three hours behind the storm using a camera system just like this, and. Uh, even though you're removed from something like that, you couldn't help but be involved in such a tragic story. And we brought, uh, we were the pool cover, so we brought uh, exclusive pictures using the same technology you're seeing now to the world about the devastation that that, uh, that, that storm wrecked through those communities. And that was, wow. you can't really remove yourself from something that huge. And we flew all over the Gulf Coast and using this uh, technology, and we reported, and, and it, was, it was something to see. And uh, hopefully nothing like that will ever happen again. But yeah. this type of technology and these camera systems really helped out in that type Boy, of emergency. Boy, I was going to say, this pays off. What is this reservoir over here? That's Silver Lake. I'll oh, over wow. And show you. Silver Lake Reservoir. Look at that. Boy, that gives you a, a view of the whole reservoir, doesn't it? Yep. And I wanted, here's KCET uh, right here. We'll slow uh, it up. Right on Sunset Boulevard. Uh, right in here, where right? Where are we? Yeah, it's hard to tell from the sky. That's right here. I'm on it. If I was working just yeah, there we are. Children's Hospital, 1,500. Wow. There's my office right there. Pull out just a little bit. That's one of the oldest studios in Hollywood right there. That's our lot right there. That's KCET. Been there a long time. Wow. You got any other tricks up your sleeve? No, we can actually fly you over towards the Hollywood sign and get you a close-up shot. Oh, let's go close by the shot. Hollywood sign. Close-up shot that uh, we'll take you right next to it. And this is a good time to point out uh, the monitor right here. This is what we're looking at right here. It suddenly got, there we go. You can see everything from here that the camera's seeing. So this is, if the reporter was sitting here, he or she would just be looking down here like I am right now at the Griffith Observatory and, and know that this is what the people at home are seeing on their television sets, right, JT? Absolutely. I now, know. there's the park, Griffith Park, and look at, let's just pan quickly over all of this devastation from the, from the fire. That's Boy, right. Boy, it just cleaned all that out. We had a big fire, fire here. Uh, were, were you part of that back? coverage? Oh, oh absolutely. We had uh, we had our all of our helicopters out here. All the stations were covering it. And uh, yeah, we were over it. All right. Now we're going to fly right over the Griffith Observatory. Wow. The newly modeled Griffith Observatory. Oh, man. Let's see, we'll get, we'll see if we can slow it down and get some of these uh, kids on a field trip to give us a little Oh, break. my gosh. That is, look at that. They're waving at us. So they see us up here. Look at that. If, if their parents are sitting at home watching this, they could recognize their kids' oh, sure. faces. That is... Boy, it's got a lot of advantages, but I also got to tell you, this is Big Brother right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, this camera get into the wrong hands. There's no privacy left. You can see everything. Let's go up to the Hollywood sign, and then we'll head back, because I think we've... Unless you've got other tricks up your <laughs> sleeve, JT, I don't know what you can do or can't do with that thing. That's a great camera. Wow. How can it get any better than this? I mean, what's left to invent? I think people, you know, they don't realize when they're watching television news how a lot of people think that we're hovering very low, but we're usually about 1,000 to 1,500 feet off the ground. And we can really use this lens, as I'm showing you, yeah, to zoom right in. And get the shots. Uh, Tower, Sky 5, backside of Mount 
get the shots we need to uh, to supply uh, the viewers with a real good view at safe distances. So we're not making a lot of noise or causing a lot of uh, distraction. Wow. Well, of course, people get upset when the LAPD helicopters are hovering for a long time, but they're there for a reason yeah. because they're looking for criminals or, you know, they're on official... What, yeah. what is this over here? This is a reservoir. Is that's this the Lake Ho Hollywood? That's the Hollywood Reservoir there. Yeah. yeah. I'll pan over and show you that. The LAPD would be on official business. That's why they hover. Yeah, I always tell people when they make noise complaints on the police helicopters overhead, I say, well, if you hear us overhead, you want us there. Yeah. Because what we're doing is that means there's a, there's probably not a very nice person running around in your neighborhood, and the only thing that's keeping him pinned down is us overhead and keeping an eye on things. These helicopters and these cameras really provide an amazing public service and really do a, a, an amazing role, have an amazing role to play in uh, informing and educating people about what's going on in their communities, covering disasters, uh, natural disasters, man-made disasters, but also, just like we've seen today, giving us a view of our community, of our landscape, of our, you know, where we live, that, that very few people ever get a chance to see firsthand, but you can share it with them by use of the cameras on these helicopters. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a great way to tour Los Angeles. and. Uh, you know, these camera systems, these technologies offer such a variety of useful tools from law enforcement to news to, to television and production. It really is a, a great tool, and, and the tool combined with the helicopter and the ability to, to provide this stuff, it's just, it's really outstanding, outstanding to be able to do this. It's a lot of fun as well. Well, we're back on the ground, but I'm going to have memories of this day for a long time. This has been an absolutely wonderful experience. One of the best days of my life up in the air. And let's take one more look at this camera right here, because that little black box, that little camera right there, that's what provided those amazing pictures for us today. That is truly amazing and gives us all a better look at where we live, where we work, where we play, where we swim. Most of the pools in Los Angeles, it's interesting because everybody's got a pool in Los Angeles and no one's ever in them. <laughs> it always seems like uh, we fly around and uh, we hardly ever see anybody out there. I didn't even think you were looking though. Well, we, we, we glance. <laughs> now you got busted. <laughs> now you got busted. But uh, you, we, we've, we've looked at how many too, we've looked at how many pools today, Hugh, yeah, and it's a really hot right day. Over here, and no one, as we're going by, no one's out there pools. See them over there. We got about four of them in a row. Look at that right there. That is just that is just amazing. Boy, you really see the. You know, L.A. is a beautiful city from the air. It really is.